Gemini, hello and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your new weekly tarot reading starting this new week of August the 13th up until August the 20th. If you want to watch a link to the extended, you can do so by clicking on the first comment that is pinned down below or also you can find the direct link to the extended in the description box below as well. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Remember to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising and your Venus placements because if those are dominant in your chart, then those will definitely resonate with you as well. All right, let's see. You are starting with the dominant energy of the drumroll. Okay, future focus. And it says here, uh, it has a number 66 on it. Okay, future focus, look at that, okay. So this is all about focusing in on your future, okay. If you see the number 666, 606 on the clock, then that is something related to you taking care of the little things on your daily task list, like day-to-day -day things, your daily habits in order for you to succeed, okay, with whatever goal it is that you have. There's something here also related to harmony. Um, a situation that has been rather disharmonious, it's going to end up harmonizing very soon, okay? Now, let's see what this says. Future focus, strong sense of self and feeling hopeful, awakened and being aligned with connection, positive outlook on life and focusing on the future. So this is all for you, right? You have to have a strong sense of self, of believing in yourself, feeling hopeful about the future, okay, future focused, even if things are not looking picture perfect right now, even if you're encountering problems, issues, challenges all around you, stay focused on your goal, stay focused on the future, right? Um, it's like that energy of like those horses, right? Those horses that they put blinders on when they're racing. Why do you think they put blinders on the horses? Because if the horses, you know, um, distract themselves with looking to the side or the other side with the other horses or whatever else is on the sidelines, okay, then they're going to lose the focus of their goal, the future. So put your blinders on right now. There will be dis distractions, people being annoying, situations being delayed, whatever it is, challenges that you're going through right now, but you keep your focus on the goal, on the future, on achieving it, and you will, okay? Let everybody else distract themselves so that you can win the race. Now here uh, also, it comes with a second message. I am devoted to returning to you, whether this is you towards something, someone, and or somebody towards you. I'm devoted to returning to you. I'm starting to feel hopeful about the future because I see you being a big part of my life. So whether this is, you know, this could be related to career, a goal that you have, a vision that you have of the future, a person that you want to be with, a place that you want to be at, right? But you have to fully devote to that dream, to that vision, to that place you want to be, to that job, to that career business, right? Fully devote yourself to it, okay? Um, and start to feel that energy of being hopeful about the future, because you've got to start seeing yourself as you being a part of that future already. See yourself as being in that job of your dreams, in that position of your dream. See yourself as being a part of that person's life or that person being a part of your life, if this is a person, because this reading can be anything related to love, career, finances, dreams that you have, friends, you know, it could be related to family members, whatever this is, but keep your eyes on the prize, on the future. Of course, if this is somebody here towards you, then this individual is ba basically telling you the same thing, that they're devoted to returning to you. There could be some kind of return of somebody here. They're devoted to return to you. They're starting to feel hopeful because they see you as a part of their journey and their life. You take the reading however it resonates for you and let me know in the comments below. Now we're going to be going into your past, present, future position, who and what is coming towards you, what is in your opportunity, and also what is in your challenge position and how to overcome that challenge. Remember, let me know in the comments below how this reading all resonates for you. Even if it's just commenting an emoji, that really helps support me and my channel. I finally heard back from YouTube regarding the issue that I've been encountering on my channel, which is a lot of uh, my subscribers have been noticing that YouTube has been unsubscribing them involuntarily, and also they've been hiding my videos from the newsfeed. Okay, so 
while they're while they are still working on that issue if you do want to continue to support the channel and me you can do so by commenting down below even if it's just with an emoji and of course it does not cost you a thing to give this video a like thumbs up um, also hit that notification bell and hit subscribe thank you all so much for your encouragement love and support now let's see you could be dealing with the sign of leo i see the sign of aries you also have here the sign of Pisces. What else do we have here? Whatever other sign this is, Libra. Okay, I see Libra energy as well. But at the bottom of the stack, you have here justice. Okay, so justice will be served in your favor in a situation where something has been out of balance. It's been more difficult than it needs to be. Either a person's making life more difficult than it needs to be. A situation might be feeling to you like there is unfairness, right? Why is this happening? Why is this so unfair? Why is this person so unfair, right? Why is life and so unfair? Don't worry. Karma is going to be served in your favor. There will be justice. This could also be some kind of a legal case, a legal matter, uh, that kind of vibe we're going to see. Let me know in the comments below. Now, I'm also seeing here that in your challenge position, so for those of you guys who are new to the channel, welcome. I do general readings, which means that this can be pertaining to any area of your life. You take whatever resonates from the reading and leave what doesn't. It could be love-related, career-related, family, friends, finances, projects, or working out ideas that you have, dreams, goals that you have, you know, um, friendships. It could be coworkers, business partners, bosses, whoever, whatever, okay? Now here in your challenge position, I see here the three of pentacles, five of pentacles reverse, and the moon. So in your challenge, I see here that it could be a little bit challenging for you to see eye to eye with a person or a group of people. There's some kind of a disagreement. There's some kind of a, you know, um, you have your own way of doing things. They have their own way of doing things. It might be a little bit difficult for you guys to negotiate or come together as a win-win type of situation. For others, there could be something here related to part of the challenge being the fact that you feel, you feel like you're not being valued. You feel like you're not being um, seen. You're not being valued. It's like, um, um, either at your job, you feel like you're not getting paid what you what you deserve, or in a family situation, in a friendship, or in a love situation. It's like you feel like you're not being valued. You're not really getting um, the appreciation that you want, or if you've been waiting for some kind of payoff, some kind of reward, you're like, where? when is it going to come? Where is it? I've been putting in the work and the effort. Where is it, right? Something here that um, you thought wouldn't happen, it's going to happen. I see it for you. It's going to happen very soon. If you've been struggling financially, um, you're going to start seeing improvement in your life. Okay. But again, don't focus on the lack of not having the finances, on the lack of not having the love, uh, the lack of not having the opportunity. Don't focus on all the lack. That's lack mentality. You have to have more of an, of an abundance mentality. Okay. Well, something's going to give. It's going to give at some point. It's coming already. I mean, you literally sometimes have to talk yourself into this, right? So I feel like um, if you stay positive, if you stay in that, you know, kind of good vibration, you're going to see it happen quicker than perhaps the delays that are pushing it away. Okay. So I see here that it's definitely going to happen. Uh, again, some kind of energy there of um, you finally getting the payoff, the reward it's coming in. Okay. And I feel like it's going to be some kind of a constant source of joy for you. Now I'm seeing here that right now you might be dealing with heightened emotions. Your emotions are taking over you. Um, you might feel like what's real, what's not, is this real? Is this not right? You might be feeling like, am I just being delusional? Is this just an illusion? Right. That kind of vibe or like kind of doubting people around you, that kind of vibration. But I'm also seeing here that part of the challenge is learning how to you know, ease those emotions, you know, temper your feelings, temper your emotions, because I feel that your emotions might be fogging up your vision and they're not letting you see that the opportunity is actually there. It's like the universe is working. They're working arduously, you know, for you, but you're not seeing it, right? You're just seeing the trouble, the challenge, but you don't see that in the background, the universe, your spirit guides, your angels are literally trying to make everything work for you. Okay. So align with that energy. Telepathy. Do you hear me talking to you? I need you close to me right now. Please respond. There's somebody here sending you telepathic messages and or you might be sending somebody telepathic messages. I feel like it's somebody towards you. If you see signs, signals, synchronicities, you see things that remind you of this person, of this memory, of this thing that you really want. It could be anything. It could be a person, place, thing. It could be also that the universe is sending you signs, signals, synchronicities of, hey, don't forget about your dream. Don't forget about your passion that you want to pursue in life. Don't forget about your goal. Don't forget about where you said you wanted to live in your life. 
Don't forget about what you want to pursue in your life, right? The universe is sending you signs, signals, synchronicities with regards to something here that you haven't been able to forget, okay? Because it hasn't forgotten about you. Uh, it could be a person, place, thing, you know, a dream that you have, whatever this is. Pay attention. You're getting uh, telepathic sort of messages, all right? Let me know in the comments below what that's all pertaining to, uh, which area of your life, love, career, finances, friends, family, whatever this is. Now, in your uh, recent past, you have the three of wands, the page of wands, and the five of cups. So in the recent past, I see here that there was something related to you seeing your ships coming in in a situation, in a group environment. It could be a career, business, partnership, or a love relationship. It could be also a family situation where you gave it your all and you finally took a step back and you learned. You were like, you know what? I'm finally going to take a step back in order for me to hear from this person, to see my ships coming in. And they did because you had given enough. In the recent past, you did take a step back and you finally saw the result in some kind of a situation. A message came through. Some kind of a message came through. However, when this message came through, you kind of felt a little bit of a sense of sadness and regret. Like you weren't expecting um, that to turn out in that direction. There was some kind of sense of regret, sadness. Why did you do what you did, right? Or it could just be the fact that you felt guilty about something, about giving too much, about giving too little, or a person here felt um, a sense of regret towards you. I feel like somebody here may have regretted something that they did and they came in to communicate that, but they still came in to communicate it in a rather immature kind of way. And I feel like even though, yeah, it kind of brought a little bit of a sense of, okay, fine, that person finally, you know, um, express themselves, you felt like it wasn't what you wanted to hear, something of that matter, whether it's career related, family, friends, finances, you know, love, whatever this was. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, yeah, perfect pair. It says here, we are uh, perfect for each other. You match my vibe and I love your energy. This was hard to deal with because it was a person, a situation that you really wanted. You felt like it was perfect for you, the perfect job, the per perfect career, the perfect opportunity or the perfect person. Okay, you guys felt like you guys got along, um, you know, very well. But again, that's exactly why there was such a great sense of regret because you didn't expect this to go the other way. Okay. Let me know in the comments below what that's all pertaining to. In your present energy, you have here the Five of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. So in your present energies, I see here that there's some kind of a disagreement. If this hasn't happened yet, um, and it will be happening, then something here is saying that you and a person here might be disagreeing. Whether somebody here is trying to push your buttons, or you may be subconsciously creating a little bit of drama around you because you feel ignored, unappreciated, neglected, and you're trying to get the attention, even if it's negative attention, whether you're doing this or somebody, somebody here is doing this towards you, starting trouble, you know, um, in order to push somebody's buttons, whether again, they're pushing yours, you're pushing theirs in order to get the attention that uh, this person wants. Okay. Uh, I'm also seeing here that there could be some kind of, um, it's like, it's like walking away with a sense of empty victory. Somebody here feels victorious. Yeah, finally, I won the argument. You know, I won in this, you know, situation, um, but it got nasty or it's getting nasty. Don't let it get nasty if it hasn't happened yet. Try to uh, take the high road because I feel like uh, there could be, there could be, you know, the fact that this situation, if, if you let it get to, if you let it get too ugly, like the argument or the, you know, the disagreement, it could have, it could have repercussions like in the future. So tr try not to go there. Okay. It's not necessary. Don't waste your energy on that vibe. I'm seeing that also with the nine of cups, this is having to do with something related to the fact that somebody is getting triggered because they're seeing that either you have everything that you want. That's how they see you. You get everything that you want. You get everything that you need, right? Uh, and they feel like a little bit jealous, triggered, that kind of vibe. It could be a bully around you that doesn't want you to get everything that you want. Again, if there's some kind of a project that finally moves forward, which it will, because it's been very slow in coming, it's a very slow moving type of energy, or it could be a person who's been very slow in coming. I feel like, you know, there's no need to rush. Don't rush it. Take it slowly. Okay. Um, do it properly. Properly. Do it properly. Make sure that even if it's everything that you've ever wanted, you're like, oh my God, but this is everything that I've ever wanted. Take it slowly. Don't rush it. Don't, um, you know, take leaps of faith without thinking it through, without checking out the details. Take it once at a time. Okay. Whether it's a loan that you want, this is career related, love related, family, uh, you know, job related, whatever this is, take it once at a time. Don't rush it because you don't want to mess it up. Okay. I'm seeing here that also some kind of information that is shared with you 
try to keep it to yourself. Okay, because it might be triggering somebody. It might be causing a problem if you communicate it out into the world, okay? Some kind of secret that somebody tells you. Keep it to yourself or some kind of information, okay, for the time being because it might trigger somebody into arguing or, you know, causing more trouble than there needs to be. Here with 3D, it says here, I have been programmed to focus on the surface, on tangible items, okay, and what is right in front of me. So there's a very um, materialistic person here, whether you or this other individual, 3D, right? A person here who's only focused on material things, on superficial connections, superficial uh, situations, right? Money, 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 that kind of vibe, 3D. They're very focused on the 3D. Um, this could be you or somebody else around you. If this is you, then again, take it slowly with regards to an opportunity because I feel that... Um, this is saying, you know, try to really ask yourself, okay, is this my ego that wants this popularity or is this my ego that wants to win at this or is this my ego that just wants to make all this money but when in reality your heart's not really in it, right? Or into the relationship or into the connection or into the job, career, opportunity, whatever this is, right? There's something here related to trying to, you know, look past the pretty stuff, look past the, you know, the shiny stuff. Okay, and make sure that your heart chakra is connected to whatever this is. This could also be a person around you who's very money oriented. They're only focused on superficial things, connections. You know, it's like, oh, well, what brand are you wearing? If it's not brand name, then, oh, then I don't want it. You know, like, okay, <laughs> right? So there's something here having to do with going deeper, going deeper, whether a person, you know, is very superficial. Uh, is this you, right? That kind of vibe. Just ask yourself those questions. Uh, let me know in the comments below what that's all pertaining to. Um, okay, so in the near future, you have the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, the Eight of Swords. So in the near future, I do see here that there's going to be some kind of help coming in. If you've been waiting for the help to come in for some kind of reward, payoff, that kind of vibe, it's going to be coming in, but it's not going to be enough. Like, I feel like it's going to be to get you going, just to get you started, to get you on your feet you know, and then you're going to have to figure out, figure it out on your own. But the help is definitely going to come. Somebody also may be coming in to ask for your help in some kind of way. Okay. Whether money help, financial help, um, emotional help, whatever it is, advice. Uh, I also see that there's going to be a new opportunity coming in for you. There's a brand new opportunity, whether it's a love opportunity, friendship opportunity, could be a job opportunity, a new offer. You're going to get a new offer in the near future. It's going to be a little bit small, okay? Um, but I feel like, you know, this is something here that you might want to consider because you might be feeling breadcrumbed in the near future. You might be feeling like, okay, yeah, this is an opportunity here. It could be an apology for some, but you're going to feel like, okay, is this person still breadcrumbing me? You know, like you're going to feel like a little bit like it's not enough, that kind of vibe. I'm seeing here that also there could be a situation where you might be feeling stuck, like, uh, like a victim. Like, are you in denial uh, by the fact that you know you want more out of this connection, this job, this opportunity, and you might just be staying in there? because you're attached to some kind of a false safety, you know, pleasure, false safety attachment, or it could just be some kind of a illusion, right? Uh, it could also be that for some of you guys in the near future, you're going to have to make a decision about um, a situation with regards to, are you really happy in it? Or are you just making up excuses? Okay, be honest with yourself. Now guided, my spirit guides are helping assist in this divine situation and connection, new insight. So your spirit guides are going to come into the near future to help you, okay, uh, to take you to where you need to be with who you need to be, because there's something here related to you tapping into your intuition, your emotions, and not listening to the ego, okay? There's something here related to, and a lot of people have been getting that. A lot of people have been getting the whole ego versus soul, right? Listening to the ego versus your spirit. Your spirit guides are trying to help you, guide you towards the right thing, people, situations, circumstances, opportunities. But are you just listening to your ego? Do you just not want to let this go because whatever, it looks pretty. Oh, that, you know, you've spent a lot of money on it. You spent a lot of time on it. Uh, this person, you know, you, you think that they're going to change or whatever it is. You think that circumstances are going to change. You know, in your heart, what this is all about. And you have to be honest with yourself in the near future. It's going to liberate you. I'm seeing that also it says here, um, that your spirit guides are going to help in a uh, divine connection. You're going to be coming into contact with a person that you are meant to be with, whether in business partnership with a uh, friendship, it could be love, it could be family, whatever this is, but you both are going to be guided towards enlightenment. You're going to see the situation from a different perspective perspective from a different light. Okay. 
Uh, I'm also seeing here that in your opportunity, you have here the Nine of Wands, the Emperor, and the Strength. So in your opportunity, you have here some kind of an opportunity to step up to the plate and call the shots. You're being called upon to be a leader, the leader of your life, the leader of your future, the leader of, you know, uh, an organization where you work, um, anything in a relationship. I see here that, you know, you're going to be given a huge opportunity to finally make it happen on your own. Okay. I'm seeing that for others of you guys, you're gonna have an opportunity to meet a personality type who is this way. They might be a leader. They might be uh, an authority figure. This person might be older than you, a father figure. It doesn't have to be, but just a person here who, um, who is very masculine, right? This is also an opportunity for you to learn more of your masculine strengths. We all both possess feminine strengths and masculine strengths, okay? Uh, so there's something here related to you opening up to op the opportunity to learn more of, you know, um, embracing that masculine part of you, right? Um, delegating, making decisions, um, thinking things through logically instead of emotionally, uh, being the leader of a family, of an organization, of a group of people, of yourself, right? Uh, leading something. Um, so all these masculine traits are there for you to really catapult yourself to a next level in some kind of area of your life finances, career, love, family, friends, whatever this is. I see here that, yeah, there's going to be also an opportunity for you to finally bring down your walls. You've had your walls up to protect yourself because you've gotten hurt before. You know, you've, um, you've experienced a lot of challenges and it's almost as if you're like, you're just like protecting you. You're like waiting for the next bomb to drop. And it's like, no, no, no. you're going to have an opportunity to finally bring down those walls of defensiveness. You might be feeling a little bit defensive, a little bit emotional, a little bit touchy, you know, like people say something and you just like react, right? You may be unaware that this is happening, but I feel like awareness is going to come in. Clarity is going to come in about this. I'm seeing here that also there's going to be an opportunity for you to finally uh, make amends or get along with a person who it's been, it's been very difficult for you to get along with. Okay. They're very different from you than you or recently things have been changing a lot. It could be just recently that this person has been acting rather different, rather distant and or you towards them. There could just be, you know, that each, each, uh, each one of you guys are going through different things. And so there's going to be an opportunity for you guys to get along, P practice your gentle strength, right? Be kind, be gentle, but also be firm, be firm and you have boundaries, right? But I feel like by approaching this person in a very gentle but strong kind of way, uh, you guys are going to be able to make it work, okay? It could be family member, friend, coworker, boss, partner, business partner, you know, love, whatever this is. Missing piece. You are a missing puzzle piece. We were made for each other. So either you are realizing that, yeah, you know, you don't want to do this without this person. They are part of your life. Um, you know, or a person here realizing that they don't want to do something without you because you are their missing piece. We're going to be going into the extended now. And in the extended is where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to turn out and unfold for you, what will be the final result. And we will end the reading with any guidance messages from spirits. So if you want to check out the link to the extended, you can now do so by clicking on the first comment that is pinned down below. And also it will be in the description box below as well. And remember to support the channel. If you do enjoy these readings, you can support the channel by liking this video, giving it a thumbs up, and also more importantly than anything else, by commenting down below. Even if it's just commenting down an emoji, it really helps support me and the channel. And also subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. Make sure that when you click the notification bell, you hit all. Because if you do not hit all, then the YouTube algorithm will not notify you. Again, thank you all so much for your support, your comments, your likes. Take very good care of yourself. And until next time, bye-bye. And also remember to check out all of your weekly readings from last week and also your monthly readings, your mid-monthly readings, your blessings monthly readings. You can find all those links in the first comment that I have pinned down below. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psych 
psychic source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.